Hello. Welcome back to West of Loathing. <laughs> I'm just dragging myself on the ground, apparently. Last time, uh, I came back to fight some cows, actually, yeah, because I couldn't fight- I got beat up by the goblins, so I'm here to just grind, fight some cows. An ungolith. Yeah, we're just fighting some cows now. Wow, that hurt me so much. There we go. Moxie level 5. Susie has become stronger, good. Gorse blood scroll. You scrape the largest of the giblets off the, of the scroll and read it. It says to take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside a red chalk's ritual circle, and sprinkle them with stardust in a place a mostly perfect or better last sphere where the heart should be. Anyways, that's the gist of it. The actual test te text has a lot more of these and those and such as like that. Plus, there's a bunch of weird gibberish that you're supposed to say out loud while you're doing it. Okay. Marching orders? This is a set of marching orders directing a rifle division to Fort Alden, far to the north of Dirtwater. Well, they're not doing anybody any good now. You tear them up into little pieces and throw them away. Take that, future historians! <laughs> yep. Humming Cave. You hear a strange, strange humming noise and take a brief detour to discover that it's coming from the mouth of a nearby cave. Okay. I'll go to this place then. Okay. Oh, these rocks are really organized. Uh, well, what is that thing? That- oh! What? In the world? What? <laughs> this looks dangerous. I'm in- I'm in a weird- You got a strange stone arrow. I'm- I don't know where I am, even. Looks like there was a huge cave in it at some point. What? This monolith is dark. In the world. Uh, well, that was weird. That's what the humming noise comes from. Nothing's there. You might be able to push this over. Uh, can I? Heave ho! Nice. That did nothing for me. What am I even doing? Good lord. Oh my god. Yeehaw! Instant grits. Sure, I want to see what this does. Ow. Ow. That might have been a mistake, actually, come to think of it, but... It's fine. Oh, this is actually a big mistake! <laughs> no, I can't do math! Oh, no. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like your mother always told you, don't jump into a pit filled with skeletal riflemen if you're pretty not sure you can do it without getting your ass handed to you. Uh, yeah, it's weird how often she said that. Uh, so I'm angry. Uh... Okay. I'm madder than a hornet. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna do this same thing this time, but... Not do the same thing I did before, because I didn't realize that the coal wouldn't do as much damage. Which, because I don't understand what I'm doing. It's like my mom always said. Cool. We're good. I'm gonna fight them. Now. Alright. I think we're strong enough to take this. I think. Bean Golem, let's go! I love him. I think we can do this. Oh no. Yeah, we're fun actually. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna throw dynamite at him. Bam. And then I'm going to 
attack you. Bam. No, not the bean golem, no. Uh, God, okay, I can attack you, and I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot you. There. No! No, 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 no. God damn it. This might be the end. Uh, I think we can tank this, I think. Hopefully, yes, we're good. All right, I think. No, God damn it. Ah. Uh. God, I hate that. Okay, good, attack me, thank good. That's good, thank you. Good. Now you die. Whew! That was tough. Okay. Uh, that was stressful, though. Your supply of dynamite! Ah, nice! One at 12.35 meat. Let's go, actually. That's fantastic. So, I did it. I did it. Okay. Uh, so I can deal with the railroad camp. Well, you find an abandoned crate which has mine stuff stenciled on the side, which is the worst grammar you've ever seen. <laughs> Even at a time and place notable for its poor grammar. Thermos of spiked coffee and dynamite. Great. Manifest Destiny Railway Camp. Oh, does this open up the train to get to the. Oh, yes! That's right. Yep. I had any luck finding a year's supply of dynamite? The passengers are getting restless. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellows to set up the charges and let you do the honors. So, Smee consults with the other workers and they inspect their rocks for a time. Eventually one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks and the wires up the detonator. Alright, let her rip! <laughs> Wait, uh, you, don't you have a longer detonate cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get onto the train. Great. Okay. Come on, set off those fireworks. What are you waiting for? Independence Day? Well, what if I am? Okay, okay. We'll have to do it. Uh, do it. Bluey. Oh, no. Hi. That's bad. The Severus didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. Quick, you're the protagonist. <laughs> do something about it. All right, all right. Jeez. This is a very large and very angry looking thing? Guy? Standing here. Apparently he's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up right next to his butt while he was sleeping. How are you going to handle us? Uh, fair fight, that's how. I already have that that mysticality bonus, so. And I'm already, I'm all, also pissed, so yeah. This is probably going to end very badly. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine, never mind. Uh... I'm gonna throw both dynamite sticks at you. That's probably overkill, but whatever. Nice! We're good, I think. Moxie level 7. Okay, cool. Well, now that's a, that is a finest day. That is as fun a day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, fringed. Friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and headed out now. Here, I'll mark your rat our route on your map for you, in case our paths happen to cross again. Uh, thanks, but can I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Hut, <laughs> just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on this train is sold out. Sorry, boss. <sighs> Manifest. <laughs> they just left. Oh, great. No, but I do get the mountain pass. That's good. The Per Professor's house. Let's go here. You crest a hill to see a skeleton propped up on his elbows, looking through a pair of binoculars at the horizon. I guess he died before whatever he was waiting for showed up, showed up, grabbed him. These will come in handy. They will also come in pairs, because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. 
That's a fair point. I, I agree with that. The beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the, of the desert. Hmm. Coffee cactus? Oh, my favorite. Ow. Hello, Professor. Ex er, excuse me, my name's Festus McMurdy. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't notice to come in. I'm not used to visitors, but folks generally call me the Professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this bleeping gizmo, and I sort of followed the bleeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be. I'll, it certainly led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vibrata technology, and I happen to be as much an expert as uh, anyone alive today. Oh, what now? El Vibrata, they're an ancient race that lived here long before humans. Well, they live mostly underground, but they might still be living as far as I know. Never seen a people of an actual person, though, just the machines they left behind. Were they... space aliens? Could be aliens or genies pre-humans, or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look at your bleeping gizmo. Oh, aha! As I suspected, this is one of our trans one of their transponders. It detects other El Vibrata technology in homes, didn't you see? That'll be why it led you here. I've got a thing I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange stone marble into a so socket on it. There you go, good as new. Just swipe up or down and to turn it on or off. A vibrato transponder. Swipe. Now I gotta warn you, this device will lead you to abandoned El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract one one's attention. From what? From the El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, you have arrived at the perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I need more samples of El Vibrato tech. But searching for it eats up all the time I could be using to research it. Uh, ah, ha, ha, I get you. Right, you're the adventuresome type, so bring me back whatever devices you'll find, and I can get them up and running, and that'll be benefit both of us. Alright, deal. Alright, what do we need? Oh, sorry. Uh, great, first priority will be to get my keystone fabricator running. They lock their doors and things with these little stone alloy blocks, see? So if we can make our own, that'll open the left doors for us, literally and figuratively. Alright, what do we need? The components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me, oh, about 500 handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. Now I'm gonna go to the old millinery. These hat wearing thieves. You walk into the millinery in five, fan five bandits lounging around own big piles of half made hats. It's the law, skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess who you have to rang guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. <laughs> this patch of filthy floor wears a lot of hats. Brims. So many brims, so little time. <laughs> Is this where you're hi they're hiding? Jacuz! Oh. This, the bandit unceremoniously dumps you outside and walks back in that, making that dusting out their hands just like in a cartoon. Bah. Bastards. Oh no, he's back. The bandits all jump up and back, scuttle back into the rooms. Ugh. Oh, I'm really dumb. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Jacuz. I got one of you. Crappy sh shoddy hats. Dense. You don't know much about hat making, but this, you know this doesn't make any sense. You know what? Yeah, that's fair. How do I... So, no. Jacuz! <laughs> Stupid walking. Ow! How dare you. Oh, and the other guy got out too. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Got you, sir. Uh. This is apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play the, just the first few seconds on a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to set the dial to? 
Public domain, <laughs> Joe. You changed the song on the piano. Is that whistling you hear? Where? Is this some weird Cat and I Joe thing? Hi, hello. Jacuz! I know why I clicked there. My old public domain home. I love the public domain. Brims. Uh, you gotta raise the public domain. Squatchies. What? Oh, I see. Hi. Jacuz! <laughs> I love the stupid walking. Wake up! Oh, yes, I do see that now. One of these hats is not, not like the other. Oh, I saw something. Yeah, I see you. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm looking at the right one. Jacuz! You found all five of the bandits, deal with them. <laughs> Turn them in. The most of the black hat bandits down to back to dirt water on the end of a rope and locked them in like town jail. I didn't even know why I screwed that up. Where'd you find them? The old mill millinery? Yep, of course. You know, bandits would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking some, some thematic hideouts for some reason. Anyways, here's your reward. On the day's work. Oh, she has a little hat! Oh, that's not that's not Susie. I'm 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 dumb. Never mind. So I got the fifth wanted poster: the Gherkin Brothers for kidnapping, bringing kidnapping, brining kidnapping victims, and attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Last seen headed for the old abandoned pickle factory. Interesting. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. <laughs> Would you like to go investigate? Yes. Abandoned pickle factory. All right. Guess we're going there next. Yeehaw. Uh, you catch sight of the towers of an old mission nestled along the pines. Rescue mission. Uh, I'm gonna keep going where I'm going for right now. Haunted Pickle Factory. Oh, lovely. Delightful. Rip. Wretch of last, she was very, very terrible. Oh, good. Closed. You feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch! Oh no, you're late for your shift. Miss Mrs. Vlas is gonna be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well, not literally, literally, probably. Quick, get suited up. You clock in and hurriedly put in your bright green overalls. Miss Mrs. Vlad has predicted this furious. Late again? You better stop this taking taking this job for granted. You think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced cup easter like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work, you're on, you're on, you're on pickle hopper duty. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged, like always. Keeping the hoppers filled to keep a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly a near sprint because you have to manage the chute cu puke chutes to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Miss what Mrs. Wass knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from a hurricane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the end of the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram down a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth when Mrs. Wass glares at your pocket watch. Counting down three minutes to the second. Break's over! Second shift! You get out you get over to the salt tank. Now, oh god. Managing the salt task tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's still a never-ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, it's probably going to be salt tank duty. White lung is nasty business. <coughs> Cough. Cough on your own time, and you get that salinity back to normal. 
It's supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976. Idiot, please let me out of here. Uh, you get another 180 second break before a third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Break's over, get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out, please. Boiler driven means shoveling coal into a furnace. A furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You try to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Wash screams if you drop any coal on the floor. Or if you let the temperature get too low. Or too high. Or just no for, for no particular reason. Oh great, lovely. Uh, at least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Anything anymore. Let me out, please let me out. Let me out! Let me out! 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189. Not 191. What do you think we're pay? What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell. You're not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything anymore, except to die. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! With the gas, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination or possession or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar paper in your eyes. Enter the pickle factory. Oh, spooky! It's the it's this factory activation lever. Pull it! You pull the lever, and nothing happens. Something in the machinery rooms must not be set up correctly. Okay. Oh, hi, dude. You approached the ghost. Gotta, gotta, can't sleep until it's right. You all right there, partner? Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. Can't sleep, yikes. I'm insane, honestly. <laughs> Can I put a ghost out of his misery? Oh, I see. It's one of these things. God, they're so close together. Uh, so this is one and two. Oh my god, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, if I fight him, cucumber, a ghostly floating cucumber. Oh hi, cool. Great Northern Blizzard. Okay, sure, why not? Spooky resistance. Okay. Ghost cowboy hat! Hell yeah! Salt? You approach the ghost. Salt, salt, salt. Gotta salt the salt, salt. Go right there, partner. Salt! Oh jeez, okay, salt. Calm down. 31. 31. Ah, oh, god. Temperature. God, okay. Uh, so I think I gotta go back outside and then go through that whole hallucination again. No, we don't. Man, this really sucks. I really don't know what's going on. You approach the ghost. It's not right, it's not right. You're out there, partner? All wrong, the temperature. It's not right, it's all wrong. Not right at all. All right, then do you. All wrong! Ah! Spooky. Perfectionism. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. So, what am I supposed to do about this? Wasn't I supposed to be looking for bandits, technically? They might be dead. To me with the spirit. What? Do I not have enough mysticality for that? I'm a couple shy. Uh, what can I do about that, actually? Curse pants, ghost pistol, ghost cowboy hat, uh, I think. Yes, that gets me above. Cool. Where are you at? 
You're reaching to greater, increase your greater fear with the mind. But the pain! Oh no, you're late for your shift, Miss Last. Oh, right. Okay. So it's this thing, alright. Right, I remember. Keep the levels equal. Okay. 976 parts per thousand. Hundred and seven so nine hundred and seventy six. Nine seventy six and one ninety. Nine seventy six one ninety. Nine seventy six one ninety, okay. Nine seventy six and one ninety. Okay. I'm gonna add a lot of coal, okay. 100 degrees. Cool. 121. 135. It was exactly 190, right? 155. 159. 163. 182, okay, so. Seven. Uh, God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, okay. That's not helpful. Yes, it is actually. It's extremely helpful. Good. That means I can get it up to five. And sweet. I got 190. Cool. Now, this is the hard part because I can't actually see freaking anything. So that. They're about level, I think, hopefully. God damn it. Oh my god. It just clicks, okay. Oh, I am a fool. Oh, that's not right. I think it is point for. Oh! I didn't realize there were numbers. I, I'm an idiot. Okay. 13, 13, and 7. Okay, so. Gotta lower these two. 12, 12, and 9. 12, 12, and 9. 12, 12, and 9. 12, 12, and 11. Sweet. Okay, we're good. You pull the lever and there's a deafening roar as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited in the receptacle to the left of the switch. You got an item, ghost pickles. Huh, all that work for the three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. Yep. Wait, but wasn't I supposed to find some bandits? You're already activated the pickle machine. And... Okay. Yeah, wasn't I supposed to... What? Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go over to rescue mission. You find a liquor cabinet standing in the woods. Maybe there used to be a house around it. You try opening it, but I find it to be locked. That's probably why it didn't get stolen by whatever st whoever stole the walls. <laughs> well, of gin blossoms. Hello. Gosh, a real life nun. Or yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Festus McMurdy. What's with the cons? Well, with what 
Well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also saw medical supplies if you need, like your healing to go. Uh, do you need any errands for anything? Funny you should ask, I've been experimenting with the healing properties of a purple grass that grows near here, but I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Hmm. Oh sure, I think I know the place that you mean. No problem, I'll be right back with it. The humming cave. There's a crate in the road, which is not a great natural habitat. Poor lost crate, maybe you can help it? Open it up with your crowbar. I ain't the open to press your candy. You're a helper! Yes, I am. Yes, purple grass. Okay. <laughs> I didn't hear the crazy horse before, but it's really funny. Off the trail of surely, he seems some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. Translate them. They seem to translate my third is the third of a clever my third is a, the third of a clever rhyme. Intriguing. Very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna give this to you. Welcome back. Were you able to find the Hammond Cave and the purple grass? Yep, here you go. Do you have needles? No, you don't. Uh, I think that's gonna be all the time that I have for this episode. Let's... <laughs> I love the I love the horses sound effects. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a shorter episode, but I love this game, and I hopefully will get to play more of it soon.